Michelle here welcome back to my channel welcome back to day two well, not welcome back welcome to day well what welcome to day two and three of my egg fast series I know I was supposed to film each day separately but yesterday I just really wasn't feeling it I was not in the mood I was very grumpy I feel like my period's about to creep in so I was like you know what we'll just put day two and day three together what you guys just saw is the food that I had yesterday I tried to be different do different recipes I didn't want to eat the same thing to get sick of it so I tried an egg chalupa i've had egg chalupas before it's nothing new i've tried them it's just been so long since i've had one and then i forgot that i don't really enjoy them so i didn't really like it i don't know there's something about like pan fried cheese that i just really really don't like but i was like you know what fuck it i'll just put like some sriracha on it or something and i'll just enjoy it and that definitely was not the case i really didn't enjoy it and then later on in the day i had some scrambled eggs with pan fried fried cheese and it was okay i didn't even finish the scrambled eggs because it made me feel so nauseous and the texture was just not it. It was really, really hard. Every single time I do an egg fast, the hardest day for me has to be the ending of the second day. Now that it's the third day, I feel okay. I am craving everything but eggs, but it's the last day. We can't quit on the last day. The good news is, is that yesterday I checked my ketones. These are the ketone strips that I use, and we are full on in ketosis. I'm in between moderate and large i know it's not too good to be in like really really large ketosis i've read it took me two days to get back into ketosis with this egg fast that's why i love doing egg fast because it's the fastest way that you can get into ketosis and lose your water weight that you gained like after like a cheat week or weekend i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i've been feeling so insecure these past couple days like you wouldn't even imagine today is day three we have lost a total of four pounds so far so i'm gonna weigh myself again tomorrow and i'll probably put it in this video we started at 182.2 on wednesday that was the first day and today is the third day and we are at 178.2 so i'm very happy with that honestly i'm very very happy if i can lose like maybe one pound in between today and tomorrow that would be pretty cool so yesterday's food was all right i didn't enjoy any of it i'm not even gonna lie to you i enjoyed absolutely nothing today i actually got an idea since it is friday i want to eat out today Today, I don't want to eat eggs in my house I don't want to eat the eggs or the cheese in my house if that makes any sense like I feel like the food in your house always has a specific taste and that's the taste that I don't want I want to eat outside food so I was thinking about probably getting some hard-boiled eggs from my favorite Cajun boil place and just like dipping them in the butter sauce that they use I was also thinking about like going to like Dunkin and getting like an egg with their like super yummy fake yellow cheese things like that is what I want today to be honest it's the weekend hopefully something fun happens this weekend i got invited to go out shopping with my best friend but i said no so i can film and focus on this last day of the egg fast because i know if i go with her to the mall we're gonna go out to eat and then i'm not going to stick to my diet because i'm not gonna eat eggs 
at the mall so so yeah that's the little itinerary for today i'm just gonna try to chill at home edit this video try to put it try to upload it for you guys as quick as possible my goal is to get out of the 170s i feel like i've been in the 170s for over a year i have been in the 170s for over a year since this whole pandemic thing started i feel like that's when i just stayed in the 170 to the 180s so i'm trying to get out of the 170s into the 160s we are at 178 i feel like we can do it hopefully by next month by mid next month we could be in the 160s so i don't think today there'll be any recipes i really really wanted to make more egg fast recipes for you guys but realistically i'm trying to enjoy my food today because i did not enjoy my food yesterday and i will keep you guys posted i am not hungry yet i'm just gonna be sipping on my water my favorite cup ever and just fucking vibe did i just really uber eats some butter sauce from my favorite seafood boil place yes it was only like two dollars and i left the guy a really good tip but i really really wanted this and i've been craving seafood boil and i'm like this is the closest that i'm gonna get to it but here i just have in an ice bath my hard boiled eggs that i had in the air fryer at 275 for 15 minutes and they come out perfect and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just pan fry them in some butter top them off with some cheese and enjoy super simple amazing egg fast idea at least in my opinion because i was watching a seafood boil yesterday and i saw them eat hard boiled eggs and i'm like hello genius And there we have it, we have four eggs with some Cajun boil sauce, some butter sauce. It is five o'clock, this is going to be my first meal of the day on our third day of our egg fast. I hope this tastes as good as it looks. I have very, very high hopes. Well, I absolutely devoured that. That was so delicious. If you're struggling on an egg fast and you wanna eat something yummy, go to your favorite seafood boil place and grab their sauce their butter sauce and have it with your eggs and it's absolutely delicious or you can make some at home but it never comes out the same so i just decided to uber eats it <laughs> hey what's up guys michelle here the last time you saw me was yesterday friday today is saturday so the last time i left you guys it was my last day of the egg fast and I had those eggs with the Cajun boil butter sauce on the side. I didn't really eat anything else for the rest of the day. I honestly had some slices of deli cheese at my best friend's house, but that's about it. Those eggs had me really full for the whole day and I didn't want to stress it. If I didn't eat six eggs, I had four and I felt like that was more than enough. I know I said that I was going to weigh myself today, but honestly, I woke up feeling super, super bad. My period is about to drop literally any second. I've had terrible cramps all day and I'm bloated and because I know my body is swelling up because of my period I decided not to do that because I know myself even though I know that I'm gonna get my period like I'm, it's still gonna fuck with my head if I see maybe like a pound up or something knowing that I've done everything right so I'm just gonna leave it there so we're gonna leave it at total pounds lost during this egg fast is four pounds let's see to be exact so today I was actually at the mall all day um, I went with my best friend to go find some things. She's going on a bachelorette party trip to Savannah, Georgia next week. So I accompanied her and then I met my parents up there. So that's why I actually have makeup on my face i'll do a little haul just because why not but let's talk about the egg fast first all right so we started at 182.2 on wednesday that was the first day of the egg fast and yesterday friday which was the third day we woke up at 178.2 which i think is great i think is awesome after an entire cheat week during valentine's day i feel great i feel really really good this egg fast was probably the best egg fast that i've done the other ones for some odd reason i got a headache and i just wasn't feeling good even though the second day of the egg fast i wasn't feeling good but i think it was just because of my period but i feel like this one went by really really fast and i lost a good amount of weight and i feel like that was pretty good i think honestly the only thing was since i got into ketosis so fast i do hear that if you get into ketosis when you do get into like deep ketosis that it causes sometimes insomnia and that was definitely the case for me I couldn't fall asleep it wasn't until last night that I finally got a good night's rest I definitely recommend doing an egg fast I love doing it for three days I've never 
done a five day egg fast maybe one day i'll try it but yeah i think three is perfectly fine if you're trying to get into ketosis the quickest way possible that is the quickest way by the second day i was already in deep ketosis so i think that's pretty freaking cool that's all i really have to say about that before i end this video i'm just gonna do a little haul on the things that i got today i had to go to target just now because i had to buy some waxing strips for my armpits because as you guys know or maybe you guys don't know i do sugar waxing but for some odd reason this time my armpits grew back my hair grew back really really quick so even though my hair now is completely different i've been waxing for a few months now how long have i been waxing for i've been waxing for a little over a year already i think this year in september would probably be no i think this year in march would be two years of me sugar waxing wow time goes by so fast i did stop sugar waxing when the pandemic and the covid thing started obviously but more or less i've been waxing for about two years sugar waxing which is the best thing ever if you never try it try it it's so much better than strip wax or hard wax like it's incredible it's so great and i have really really thick sparse hair and that's not the case anymore my hair now when it grows back is super thin super fine and it's great i love it but that's the same way with my armpits like my hair now is super thin it's so so thin it's great 10 out of 10 but for some odd reason they just grew back really quick this time and tomorrow i'm gonna go out with some girlfriends and i don't want to shave it and ruin it because once you start shaving again then the hairs come back thicker and you get ingrowns and things like that so going back and forth from waxing to shaving isn't good so i don't like to do that so i wanted to try these this is the brand flamingo body wax kit i've never tried it it's only in my armpits so it can't be bad i've tried the hard wax and honestly it was great for emergency purposes but i want to try a wax like this that's a lot easier the hard wax was just a mess and i didn't like it it worked but i didn't like it so i got these so we'll see how it goes i mean it's just armpit hair it's no nothing crazy i got this little mini pixie glow tonic i know i'm super late to the train i know people have been using this forever but i just never want to buy the big bottle and i decided to why not give it a try it was four dollars and then i went to zara and i got these two little tops they were seven dollars i thought it was a pretty good price right here look how cute it is so i got this nude top right here i got it in a large again it was seven dollars cute to wear with like literally anything like these basics are great and i got another one in black and the material is like super stretchy it's great honestly i wouldn't mind sizing down to give me like more support in the chi chi area but i'm way too lazy to go back and do that so we're just going to keep it like that i went to bath and body the big three wick candles were they're actually at 15 dollars right now if you guys didn't know go to bath and body but i couldn't pick and i didn't want to splurge so i got these two these were two for 20 so i got mahogany teakwood because it's my absolute favorite candle from bath and body works ever and i got this white tea and sage that i'm gonna burn right that i'm gonna burn right now this one smells amazing they have an aloe and green tea one that smelled so good but they didn't have any in the small one but this one smells really similar oh my god this smells so good and i've never tried this one i wanted to try a new one so i was like let me get two of these little ones two for 20 and then lastly victoria's secret i had to get some underwear 20 dollars off a 50 dollar purchase so i got the five it's not five for 25 anymore you guys it's five for 30 what is that so for i got them all in extra large because victoria's secret panties don't fit the cooch area all that great which is crazy because i don't remember them having extra large the last time that i went underwear shopping no mine have all been larges um, but I got them all in extra large. Hopefully they're not too big. But I got this one, which is blue and silky. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so cute. I got another blue one. I always like to get different styles. I got this one. Let's see. The material right there. I got another one just in black. This is just regular thong. I got this white one because I love white lace panties. I think they look so freaking cute. A little white lace moment and it has like two straps on the side and then i got two nude ones i got this one which is my favorite look how cute it is love and lastly you guys run to victoria's secret they have these seven dollar underwears and they're a thong but but check this out it has like tummy control so funny story so i've never seen these before or they're really really expensive they're like a thong spanx and they're seamless seven dollars i think they're like 780 almost eight dollars but i thought it was super cheap and last year 
not last year, the year before, the last festival that I went to, which was EDC Orlando, I really wanted a pair of Spanx. And I did have a pair of Spanx, but they weren't in a thong. So I literally cut my Spanx into a thong and I wore it like that. And it was so uncomfortable because obviously I don't know how to fucking cut anything. But now Victoria's Secret came out with these in different colors and it's a thong. It's a thong Spanx. Spanx. Thong Spanx. Are you kidding? And it has compression around the tummy. And I cannot wait. I'm going to brunch tomorrow and I'm definitely going to try these with my high-waisted shorts. And I will keep you guys posted. I got it in a large. So I hope this goes well. I have super high hopes. As soon as I, as soon as I saw it in the store, I literally screamed and I was like, oh my god. If these are good, I'm going to go and get the other colors because this is a lifesaver. Especially if you want to like go out. Especially for a brunch. Like to go out to eat and then go out and drink. I don't know about you, but I get super bloated. So I'm really excited about that. I'm so pumped. So yeah, that was my little mini haul. I know it went from like egg fest to a haul, but I just, who doesn't like a haul? And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this egg fest series. I definitely had a ton, a ton of fun filming it. If you guys like videos like this, please make sure to subscribe down below for more videos every single week. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, OnlyFans, and Poshmark. I have uploaded some new things on Poshmark if you guys want to check that out. Always remember to be kind to one another. I love you guys so much and I will see you on my next one. Mm.